Hello and thank you for joining me today. I'm Jay Anderson with Dock and Door Tech. Just shooting a quick video to show you the difference between a mechanical dock leveler and one we've recently upgraded to a hydraulic dock leveler. So with a mechanical leveler, there's a lot of things that can go wrong and do go wrong. One of the first is a spring, and this particular model has a very large spring and a pull rod in there. There's a bearing at the back. Things can go wrong. That can break, and it can, it can render your dock out of service for a while until you can get parts, if they're even available. You also have a hold down, which acts as a break in the dock. Lots and lots of moving parts and pieces there. You can see through the mechanism, a lot of things that could fail that would prevent that dock from holding down and the dock would be popping up in the air on its own, which can create a safety issue. Also, you have a lip mechanism, an independent way to kick that lip out. A lot of issues there as well. A lot of things to go wrong, simply, uh, simply put. And the final thing that is a disadvantage of a mechanical dock level would be the legs. They're considered cross traffic legs. Uh, they're needed for safety reasons and OSHA compliance. Um, so they're important to have on a mechanical dock level. But what they do is limit the ability of the dock to service trucks that are below dock height. And it just becomes a big operating challenge for your people using the dock levelers and loading and unloading the truck safely. Now, if we shift over and look at a hydraulic leveler that we recently converted, You'll notice no hold down, that's gone. The springs are gone and the lip mechanism's gone. We've replaced those with real simple. We've got three parts basically. We've got a hydraulic cylinder, two of them. We've got a lip cylinder and a main cylinder and a pump. Um, we run some electricity to that, make some adjustments. We can have this thing working just well, very well, much easier than a mechanical leveler. Also notice we were able to remove the legs. That gives the operators, the people unloading the trucks, full range of service capabilities on that dock leveler allows them to service trucks safely. So a great investment uh, is to look at hydraulic conversions and also with the supply chain issues we're currently having. This is something that we happen to have in stock and can be done relatively quickly, uh, much, much quicker and sooner than waiting for a new leveler to arrive from a manufacturer. Thank you. Mm -hmm.